During a lifetime spent exploring this planet, I have come to understand that the most important place on Earth is not on land, but at sea. When I first encountered the ocean as a young boy, it was considered a vast wilderness to be tamed and mastered for humanity's benefit. Now, we know the opposite is profoundly true. Before us lies Malapascua, an island paradise nestled within the Visayan Sea, a part of the restless Pacific Ring of Fire. Here, tropical storms and earthquakes wreak havoc several times a year. And yet, braving these unpredictable forces, we observe a group of young explorers on a quest to find the elusive thresher shark. Thresher sharks are drawn to Malapascua because of the presence of Monad Shoal and Kimud Shoal, which serve as vital cleaning stations. The extraordinary life that congregates around these cleaning stations ensures a truly remarkable spectacle for anyone fortunate enough to be watching. The clownfish, for instance, are known for their fascinating ability to change gender. All are born male, and if the dominant female perishes, the next in line assumes her role. They exist in a symbiotic dance with sea anemones, living safely within their stinging tentacles, protected from predators. And speaking of predators, here is an imposter. The banded snake eel is a master of mimicry, perfectly imitating the venomous banded sea crate, a dangerous serpent also found in these waters. It appears as though he is feeling rather playful today. The reefs and shelves surrounding Malapascua are home to a staggering number of species that all support one another, holding the delicate equilibrium of life on Earth. The soft corals here are particularly significant as they provide a sanctuary for a wide variety of marine life, from fish to tiny sea creatures, making them crucial to the biodiversity of the reefs. Located within the coral triangle, this area's healthy soft corals are a positive indicator of a thriving marine ecosystem. These corals and the entire reef system they inhabit 
provide a natural defense for the coastline against storms and contribute to regulating the climate by sequestering carbon dioxide. They are especially valuable for the future of these reefs, as they have proven more resilient to warming oceans than many of their hard coral counterparts. And here, amidst the vibrant coral and shifting sands, a filefish employs one of the reef's most subtle disguises. As it drifts from the bright, pulsating reef to the dappled seabed, its skin undergoes a mesmerizing transformation. Its vibrant, mottled patterns dissolve, instantly replaced by the muted tones of the sand. a vanishing act performed in plain sight to avoid the scrutiny of any watchful predator. Amidst the intricate tapestry of the coral reef, the pufferfish plays a vital and surprising role. With its beak-like mouth, it methodically crushes the hard shells of crabs and clams, keeping their populations in check while also grazing on algae that could otherwise smother the delicate coral. And for such a slow and deliberate creature, its defense is astonishing. When threatened, it can draw in water to inflate its body to several times its normal size, a startling, spiny deterrent to would-be predators. A further defense, a potent neurotoxin carried in its body, makes it a truly formidable presence in the food web. And here, in a secluded coral cave, a creature presents a visual spectacle. It is the electric clam. In the gloomy recesses where it makes its home, a flash of strobing white light pulses from its opening, a vivid display that seems almost like arcing electricity. By rapidly moving its mantle, it catches and flashes the ambient light. Not far from Malapasqua, lies the rocky outcrop of Gato Island. This is no ordinary piece of land, but a geological sculpture carved by the immense power of the ocean and the slow, persistent processes of time. The island is primarily composed of ancient limestone, a sedimentary rock created over millions of years from the accumulated shells and skeletons of marine life. This soft, porous material has been relentlessly shaped by the powerful currents that sweep through this part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. The result is a landscape of dramatic cliffs, deeply undercut by wave action and riddled with caves and swim-throughs both above and below the surface.
This subterranean world is Gato Island's most fascinating feature. Strong currents have carved a remarkable network of tunnels through the limestone, creating an underwater cathedral. Divers can explore a famous tunnel that runs clean through the island, emerging on the other side. The very currents that have sculpted Gato Island also enrich its ecosystem, making it a hotspot for biodiversity. This geological structure creates a complex habitat of overhangs and crevices, offering countless hiding places for smaller creatures. Amidst the gentle currents, a white-tipped reef shark rests motionless, its body settled calmly on the sandy bottom. Unlike most of its kin who must swim to breathe, this species possesses a special ability to actively pump water over its gills, allowing it this precious moment of quiet repose. Finally, a shark has been spotted. The thresher shark is a creature that seems to defy the very laws of proportion. Unlike other sharks, its most striking feature is not its jaws, but its impossibly long whip-like tail, which can be as long as the shark's entire body. This isn't just an evolutionary quirk, it is a finely tuned weapon. Threshers are not ambush predators, but hunters of the open ocean, where schools of fish provide a rich but elusive meal. With a flick of its powerful muscles, the shark uses its tail to create a cavitation bubble in the water, stunning its prey with immense force before circling back to feast. A precision strike born of millennia of evolutionary refinement, all in the deep blue of the open water. Yet this oceanic ghost has another important reason for visiting the coral shallows of Malapasqua. Like a client at a spa, it arrives at dawn at specific cleaning stations, like Monad Shoal. These are bustling reef areas where smaller fish, such as cleaner rase, specialize in removing parasites and dead skin from the bodies of larger marine life. Here, a fragile truce is called. The shark, for a time, holds its predatory instincts in check, allowing the tiny cleaners to perform their vital work. It is a peaceful, symbiotic arrangement that allows the thresher to maintain its health while providing an easy meal for the cleaners. For both predator and prey, it is a matter of survival, a mutual dependence played out in a quiet and orderly ritual. But this solitary, enigmatic hunter faces serious threats its slow growth and low reproductive rate make it particularly vulnerable to the pressures of overfishing. Despite its deep water habits, the thresher shark is often caught as bycatch, its long tail becoming tragically entangled in fishing nets. As a result, its populations have declined significantly leading to its classification as endangered. This quiet creature of the deep is a reminder that even the most formidable hunters in the sea require our protection. Its continued survival is now a delicate balancing act between its own biological rhythm and the relentless pressure of human activity. With so much time spent in the natural world, I have come to understand that the most important lessons are often found in the most delicate of places, the vibrant, bustling life of this reef, the protective soft corals, the camouflaged filefish, the symbiotic clownfish, and the majestic thresher sharks, all speak of a profound interdependence. 
It shows us that every creature, no matter its size, has a part to play in maintaining a balance that is essential for all. The survival of this underwater metropolis depends on its diversity, its resilience, and the fragile alliances its inhabitants forge. We are not separate from this complex web of life. Our own future is intrinsically linked to the health of the ocean. The hope we find here, in these vibrant and recovering waters, is a reminder that if we give nature the chance, it possesses an extraordinary power to restore and rejuvenate itself. We have the ability to either protect or destroy these precious ecosystems, and the path we choose will ultimately determine the fate of not just the coral reef, but our world as a whole. <laughs>